I'm here with Madeleine Otterson from SVT. Tell us about your role at SVT. Uh, well, I'm a technical producer and also a service manager for our galleries and the studio equipment. So I work a lot with development and trying to push forward in how we produce our content. Okay, and what are you going to be talking about at the conference today? I'm going to talk about how we today have production first and distribution last, but we want to change it and we want to create a new value chain so that distribution is in the same system as production and actually makes the rules for how the format is made. And what are the advantages of doing that? Well, today we have several different departments, a lot of man hours watching and converting and all of that. If we have one system with one pair of eyes that actually set the format, we can have a lot of more money. We can create money for more content. That's the possibility. And also today we have a lot of overhead. We produce with a lot of overhead. And that overhead is just heat and money you can't enjoy in any way. So if we stop with the overhead, take the money back to content. And um, because we are a public service, we have external factors that affect us and we need to be efficient and smart. Sounds like it might also be greener. Yeah, it, of course, because we are, are planning on having our systems all over Sweden that actually uh, are working like ingests for, for content. Fantastic. So over the last three years, the world's gone through some pretty dramatic times. Mm -hmm. What sort of changes have you observed in the industry and what you've been doing? Well, today anyone can make TV, anyone can make content. Uh, and I think that that is uh, one of the things that um, exploded during the pandemic. Um, and just by an iPhone with a really good camera in it, uh, no one can say otherwise than it's good, good content. So uh, I think that is one and that we actually just uh, uh, from remote production site, you can actually be anywhere, do anything. And what sort of changes do you expect in the future? What are your predictions? I think the workflows and the digitalization of that, I can't say that word probably, but uh, I think it's gonna, that is gonna be more efficient. So more efficient, but are we going to see you know, new kinds of opportunities open Yeah, up? I think so, I think so. What, what's your guess? What sort of thing? Well, I think it's going to be easier to just uh, pitch content and make it happen and show it off in different platforms. Uh, we have TikTok, we have YouTube, we have Facebook and Instagram and all of that. And I think it's going to be just more content um, building up in those areas as well. So then, the barriers to entry come down. Yeah, exactly. We have more, mm -hmm. and more then creation it's going to be going a, on. Yeah, a question about how we broadcasters are going to handle that one and, and how much content can we create and how can we uh, collaborate instead of being on the opposite sides. So that leads me to my next question. You know, as a broadcaster in a relatively small market, along with other media companies in the Nordics, you face increasing competition yeah. for the eyeballs, for attention for, for, for consumer uh, expenditure from particularly the big global players. How do you remain competitive in, in, in that environment? Well, that's why we have to cut costs, I would say, because otherwise we can't. Uh, and that's why we need to have systems that are smarter and we have to be more efficient, we have to push forward. We can't just stand still and say, we're gonna produce TV as we have done for the last 20 years. That is not gonna help us at all. We have to find new ways to produce TV to be a competitor against everyone else. But is, is being leaner and meaner enough? No, but it's, it's one of the, the roads to walk on, I would say. It's, uh, of course, you have to be more efficient and smarter in, in all directions. But uh, as a public service, we're not going to have that bag of gold to put in the big uh, content that the other, other production firms can buy. But uh, so we have to 
make maybe more content for the, the wider mass than a fewer. Madeleine, thank you very much. Thank you.